Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. In this video, we're going to open up quite a few packs. In fact, we're going to finish off this gym challenge box. And then, hopefully afterwards, I'm going to be able to add in a recording for the drawing for the Blaine's Charizard. So, first up, we're going to start off with... John and he has a heavy Neo Discovery first edition and a Japanese base set booster pack. So this one's unweighed, this one is heavy, which means it should have a hollow inside. If it doesn't, I have to go get another one. But we're gonna start off with this Japanese base set booster pack. He did have he does have a second entry now into the drawing for the Charizard that was pulled pack fresh from the very first uh, booster pack that we opened up from this Japanese base set booster box. Trying my best not to reveal what's going on here because the very first card that is where we either have a hollow or a non hollow. Set that one there in the background. This over here we have Abra, Nice, got Charmander, Staryu, Bill, Raticate, Rattata, and Weedle, or Weedle and Poliwhirl. And then for the hollow or rare we have. Ah, oh, Pokemon Trader. This is the first one we've opened up that hasn't been a hollow. So far we've been two for three with the Charizard, the Ninetales, and then we have this Pokemon Trader. But John has another pack. He has this heavy Neo Discovery booster pack. Lots of cool stuff that you can pull out of Neo Discovery. If you're wondering, my hands, they are, I always make sure they're washed and completely dried before these videos. And the reason I do that is so that I can say it because I know that these little scratches and different things that I have, sometimes it might worry some of you. Weedle, Caterpie, Natu, Poliwag, Unknown, Hyper Devolution Spray, Unknown M, Houndor. Oh, got the Kabutops, really nice. Is this the one? Oh, I think I need Politoed. Kabutops was one of the last ones that I got. And then if we're looking at the hollow itself, I thought I saw a print line, yeah, over here on the left side. Got the swirl right there below his his uh his blade, I guess you could call it. Corners actually look pretty good on the back side. This used to be a really cool card. I like to run in decks just because of the hydro cutter. Back then, 40 damage for you know an energy flip, that was actually something that was really good. So I used to like running this card. And if you needed the immediate 20, of course you could do the slash. And it, you would run it in a fossil deck, so that was really cool. Let me put this right here. All right, John, so congratulations on your Kabutops pull, and I wish you the best of luck in winning the Charizard for your base set pack entries. So it's behind, and we'll get that stuff sleeved up and take care of here soon after. Uh, next up, we have four booster packs from Jim Challenge. This is from Matt S. I gotta make sure to change his address. He actually bought the last four. There were five packs uh, lined up for today. No one of the packs I'm not going to be opening up, but this one right here will be the last one that we have up for Gym Challenge because they finished off that box. And then so after this, like I said, we're going to try. We're going to do the. Hopefully, we're going to run the giveaway for this right here, the Blaine's Charizard. So we have Tangela, Psyduck, Rhyhorn, another Psyduck. Got the Rattata, Psychic Energy. Got one two, three uncommons, Missy Seal, and oh man, got the Giovanni's Persian. Big hit. This is actually one that I still need for Gym Challenge. I just saw PSA 10 was already in auction at $5,900 for this card. This one does have a print line to the side there, which is unfortunate because that will most likely keep it from getting the 10, but still a really big hit. Used to be one of the most unpopular cards from the set back in the day when you were collecting, but now it's kind of more iconic because it, it's, um, it was Giovanni's Pokemon. Like that was the one that he kept right beside of the Pokemon that Meowth always wanted to be. All right, pack number two. So you've already got a hit. See if you can be the one who gets that Charizard. The Chop, Pidgey, Jigglypuff, Ponyta, got Abra, Magikarp, got the Fire Energy, Rapidash, Clefairy, and then Jinx, and then, oh, another hollow. You got the Giovanni. So you're two for two. So you got the Giovanni and the Giovanni's Persian. Usually uh, this one grades a lot easier because it's so hard to see print lines. And those corners look actually really nice too. So congrats on that, man. You still have two packs to go. These were the last four in the box. 
and I tried to make it so that there was an art set left and that's exactly what Matthew was looking for he was looking for an art set so that worked out really nice got the Vulpix Ghastly Psychic Energy to go along with that there's Blaine's Quiz number three you already saw Blaine's Quiz number two Sabrina's Haunter one of my personal favorites Star you and Man, you, you're three for three on the hollows. Wow. And you got Missy's Golduck, which again is another big card if you hit it in a high grade, which I do see the print lines on the right side. Again, which is unfortunate, but it's still a really nice hit. So, you know, I don't think it's going to be possible for you to pull, you know, fourth hollow, but, you know, I guess your odds are as good as, you know, as, as anybody else's. But you've hit three for three so far, which is really tough to do, especially in Wizards of the Coast stuff on unweighed booster packs. So pack number four. Let's we'll see if you can actually hit that Charizard because nobody hit it yet. And then also Math, uh, Matthew has an additional four entries towards that Blaine's Charizard that is being offered up by the consignee for the giveaway. Because every pack that you buy gets you one entry. The last uncommon is the Kadabra, Rattata, Weedle, or how we're gonna finish off the box. Oh, it is a fire one. You got the Blaine's Nine Tails, which is a really nice rare. So you hit three hollows and one of the best rares. I think you did very well. So congratulations to you, Matt. And then hopefully this will cue right into the uh, recording, screen recording for whoever wins this card right here. Hey, y'all. So we have a little special guest today, my son. If we, he'd probably be a little quieter if he was uh, sitting in my lap. But we're just going to go ahead and do this drawing for the... Blaine's Charizard and we'll see who won that one so I have the 36 email addresses over here on the Google Doc and um, I don't have the full email address shown just so that you guys don't have their information but let me go over here Google Chrome let's do a random number generator let's do 1 through 36 and the number is 8. So, number 8, right here. You can see it's Corey.K, and then I didn't finish out the rest of it, but you are the winner of the Blaine's Charizard, and I will reach out to you. Thanks.